Hi everybody, my name is Jessa Astrid and you're watching my YouTube channel. So ColourPop has launched yet another collection. This one is very summery and tropical and I got to play with it and test out everything with you guys. I am wearing the collection on my face right now so you get a little sneak peek. But they launched so many products and so many gorgeous shades and I am so excited to play with everything with you guys. I literally just found out about this collection last night when I received the box. So this is my complete first impressions and first swatches and review. So if you are interested in this collection and you are thinking about picking it up, or you just want to play with some makeup with me, then just keep watching. So they sent me this package literally last night and I'm sitting here the next morning, duh. And I didn't even know that they were launching this. I didn't see it on Instagram because I don't really go on that often. But this is what the box looks like. It has like this tropical paradise type of vibe and I just think it is so cute. Lots of greens and golds. So I wore like my big gold necklace. And they launched quite a few products in this collection. There's four different types of products and each product has like multiple shades in it. So as usual, I'm going to be going through my usual makeup routine. And so obviously I did my foundation and concealer so that I could test out the serum blushes. Now they launched the serum blush product a couple months ago and I did like a full on review on my thoughts about them. So if you haven't watched that video already, I definitely recommend checking that out first if you are interested in hearing my opinion about the product itself. But in this collection, they launched three more shades of that product. So that's what we're going to be swatching and testing out today. So let's get started. I think the packaging on this collection is so adorable. It is so stunning. I'm obsessed. When I opened this up, I was so excited to film this video with you guys. So here is what the packaging looks like. These are the cheek dews it said on the front, but they are like the serum blushes. They all have this cohesive packaging with the green and gold with the white lettering. So like I said, they launched three new shades of the blushes. It has kind of like a little swatch of them on the very back. So I think I'm going to swatch the three on my arm and then I can decide which one I want to actually apply to my face. Like I said, I just have my foundation and concealer and I did put like a little bit of bronzing concealer on. But I don't have any blush and I don't even have any powder so my face is ready to have these applied to them. So let's swatch these on my arm. The very first one I'm going to swatch on my arm is the lightest shade called Starfruit. At least it looks like the lightest shade in the packaging. This looks like a very corally type of pink shade. I'm obsessed with cream blushes right now and like liquid blushes, so I'm so excited to have three more in my collection. Come out! Okay, there we go. So this is what it looks like. They always look darker in the tube than they actually swatch. So it looks more bright and dark, but I think it's going to be pretty sheer. Like I said in my full-on review, these are very sheer, dewy type of blushes. They are not meant to be super pigmented or matte in any way. I think these are so perfect for no makeup makeup days. Or if you want to wear them with a full face of makeup, you're going to have to like layer them on. That is what it looks like on my hand. It looks very bright and corally. So it's actually more pigmented than I thought it would be. But it is such a pretty shade. It's like this gorgeous pinky coral shade and I think this is so stunning. I love it. So that is the shade Starfruit. Moving on to the next shade up called Passion Flower. So this is what the shade looks like. It is, this one is definitely darker and it's more of like a rosy pink shade. This is what it looks like. So that is the shade next to Starfruit. This one is making this one seem like not pigmented at all. This one actually looks pretty light now compared to this one. But they are both very pretty shades and I can see them working good on a bunch of different skin types. And now for the last shade of the Cheek Dew is the shade Hibiscus. This one looks the most vibrant in like neon. It's like a bright orangey reddish tone. So this is it in the tube. It's definitely more vibrant, more orangey, corally, even more than the first one. This is the shade Starfruit and Passion Flower. And then we have Hibiscus next to it. It is so neon. So this is it swatched next to the other two. It is very bright compared to these two. Let's rub this out. These have a very like wet consistency. It's almost like a lip gloss. If I could describe the consistency compared to some other product, it would definitely be lip gloss. So that one is swatched out. These ones look almost brown now compared to this one. This one's very bright and coral. So I don't even know if you can tell the difference on my hand next to it, but it looks like it just like 
ombres to the bright one. These seem a little bit more pigmented than I remember, so I'm pretty sure that they changed the formula in some way to make them more vibrant because I know a lot of people did not like these products because it just like didn't give any color. But these ones seem like they're gonna give a little bit more of a something, you know? Debating between, I know I'm not gonna do the lightest one because I want it to show up a little bit better. I did do my fake tan, so I'm a little bit more tan. So I'm tempted to do the most vibrant one. It kind of scares me. I'm gonna do it, get it. <laughs> so I put a little bit of the hibiscus shade on my hand and I'm going in with a duo fiber brush. I've learned and tried a whole bunch of different styles of applying this and these type of duo fiber brushes are the only way to go. Other than that, they're not going to blend out well. I've tried a sponge, my fingers, different types of brushes, like a more dense kabuki brush. This is the only brush that will work. So if you don't like these products, but you bought them, definitely recommend trying out a brush like this and I think you will be a lot happier with them. It's like the only brush that will blend them out, but like not soak up the product because these long fibers at the end, um, the sponges just soak them right up. The my fingers kind of like messed up my foundation underneath and almost stuck to the product because they're like that lip gloss consistency. Like I said, they just kind of stuck to my fingers. So this is the best way to apply it. Only way to apply it. So I'm going to pick up, I'm very scared. So I'm picking up a little bit of that shade. I am honestly scared because it looks so bright. Let's see how this goes. And I'm just going to straight apply it on my cheeks. I am so glad I chose to go with this shade. It is pretty bright, but I've been liking a lot of blush lately. I think that looks so pretty. You can definitely tell the difference before and after before and after. And then what I like to do is take a little sponge, this one I used today for my foundation, and I just go over like the very top of it because the brush can kind of mess up my concealer. And this just blends out the edges a little bit better. So that is how the blush is looking. I think this looks so gorgeous and I barely used like any product. Like majority of the product is still in my hand. So I don't know if they tweaked the pigmentation like I said, but these seem a lot more pigmented than the last few shades that I've tried. Super happy with this. Let's do the other cheek really quick. Okay, and now before I move on, I just want to tell you the prices of these blushes. Each blush is going to be $7. So I think that is a really good price considering how much you get and how little you need to use. $7 is going to get you really far with your blush game. So, so far I'm really liking this first product. And now the rest of the collection is only for your eyes and they also have, I think, some lip products. So I'm going to catch up my base makeup and kind of finish my routine up until that point and I will be right back. Okay, my makeup is all caught up. I'm not shiny anymore. I wish I added a tiny bit more blush before I powdered because after you powder and kind of layer on top of it, it doesn't show up as vibrant. But I think it still looks pretty. So, moving on. <laughs> so before I move on to the stunning palette, um, I'm going to go over the cream gel liners that they included in the collection. I don't really use metallic type of gel liners. I've said that before. Um, so I'm going to go over these. I'm not sure if I'm going to use them on my eyes, but... You'll get the idea through the swatches. So, the first shade I'm going to swatch is the shade Aglow. This looks like a minty type of light green. And like I said, all of these are metallic. I wish they included more, like, non-metallic liners, I think would be really pretty, because I don't think many people use these. They are really pretty, it's just hard to, like, figure out what to do with them, you know? So this is the shade Aglow. It's actually pretty neon metallic-y. It's very shiny. But the green shade is actually really pretty, so I like this one a lot. Next, we have the shade Canopy. This looks like a darker green, just like the last one, but a darker shade. So it looks like this. This was the last one. Oh, this one isn't. This one's not metallic. Yay. So this one is not a metallic shade. It is just a matte liner, and I love it so much more. I can definitely see myself using it. I may use it in today's look under my lash line or something, but look at how stunning that is. They are very pigmented, very smooth, very creamy. I like this one. <laughs> and last but not least, we have the shade Two Can Do It. I think that is a cute name. And like I said before, all the packaging is the same. So there's no difference in that. This one I think is a gold metallic type of shade. So this is what the shade looks like. It is a very yellow golden shade. In the mirror, it is super, super, super bright. On camera, I think it's like almost too bright. Can you see it there? <laughs> it's hard to see. But this one is actually really stunning too. Because it's a gold, I think it's a little bit more wearable. But the dark green one is still my favorite. But all of them are actually really pretty. 
So I really like these. And these retail for, drum roll please. Each of the cream gel liners retails for $7 as well. So it is the same as the serum blushes. I think it's a pretty good deal considering how pretty they are. Oh, there you can see the yellow. I really like these. Now moving on to the gorgeous pressed powder palette. Um, don't know why they call it that. Maybe it's like not a typical eyeshadow. Anyways, this is what the eyeshadow palette looks like. It is so pretty. It has all these shade names on the back, of course, in the little green circles. On the front, it says Lush Life, so I guess that's the name of the palette. Um, I saw a couple pictures of this palette on Instagram, but I have not touched a single one of these eyeshadows, so I have no idea how they're going to perform. And I really haven't like studied the palette very well, so this is going to be a first impressions for me. The actual palette itself is a soft satin matte material, and then the gold details and the white label are shiny and kind of like textured and raised. It feels very nice and luxurious, so I'm excited to play with this. And let's open her up together. Ready? It is so pretty. I'm really excited that ColourPop launched a palette that has some like vibrant, bright colors. Because I know a lot of people were complaining that they have too many neutral colors and too many like monotonous type of shades. So I'm really excited. Obviously, like there's a few colors that pop out. But this blue shade, like can we take a second? Look at how gorgeous that is. It is like so bright and deep. And it just looks like it's going to give me lots of color. And the green shade next to it is also very stunning. Just the whole palette together is just really pretty. I'm not really a big fan of eyeshadow palettes that have like the shiny background. I think it kind of just looks a little bit cheapy. Like it's just not my favorite type of look, but that's just preference in my opinion. But overall, I think this palette is really pretty. As usual, I'm going to swatch the whole palette on my arm so that you can see all the shades and formulas and also so I can see them and kind of think of what I want to do on my eyes. So I'm going to swatch them first and then I will do a quick little eye tutorial to test out some of the shades and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> all right, so let's get started. So starting off on the very first row in the top left, we have the shade Eco. This looks like a light peachy nude shade. It is matte. Doesn't really show up on my skin tone because it's pretty similar. The shade, while swatching the shade, it is a little bit more like chalky, powdery, but I think blended out it will be really nice. But it's leaving a little bit of a mess on the palette. Moving on to the next shade, we have the shade Wildlife. This is like a metallic goldish shade. So stunning. That is the shade Wildlife. Next we have the shade, it's Paradise. This is like a metallic green shade. It's like a green gold. The shade is a little bit different than any other shade that I've seen, so it's really cool to have a unique shade in the palette. And last in the first row we have the shade Guava. This is like a matte, rosy, burnt, orange type of shade. I don't know how to describe it, but you can see it. This matte shade was very smooth and buttery. Like I said, the first shade, Eco, was a little bit more powdery and chalky, but this one glided on beautifully. So that is the very first row in the palette. All of them are very stunning so far. Those metallics are crazy. Now moving on to the second row in the palette. They are all gorgeous metallics. The very first one is the shade Hotness. It's like a metallic orange shade. So buttery, so pigmented, so smooth. I really like that shade. Next, moving on to Pom Pom. It's like a very neon metallic green shade. Like, look at that. That is just one swipe. I like to layer them a tiny bit just because like on your eyes, you can of course layer them. So it's just realistic, but that is the shade Pom Pom. Next, moving on to the shade Juicy. This is a metallic teal type of shade. Well, the metallic so far just feels so smooth and buttery and it's almost like they're a cream or liquid. That's just how smooth and buttery they are. I really, really like this row so far. And last but not least, we have the shade Hideaway. This is like kind of like the shade Guava but metallic version. It's like a bronzy brownish shade. That is how that one looks. And that is the second row in the palette. Like I said, they are all metallic, but they are all so gorgeous. I'm obsessed. And now moving on to the very last row in the palette. They are all matte. They all feel super smooth, so I'm excited to see how these swatch. The very first shade is the shade Noni. 
This one looks very, very, very similar to the Guava shade. It is very similar to this shade. It's just like a little bit more brown and dark. I wish the shade was just a tiny bit more different than the Guava shade, but it is still really pretty. Next, we have the shade on the Prowl. This is the dark green shade. Um, oops, I actually swatched the blue shade on accident. That is the shade Monsoon. It feels like a pressed pigment. It is so deep and pigmented. I really, really like it. Um, I'm excited to play with this on my eyes. I'm definitely going to use that shade in my eye look. Now moving on to the previous shade, which is the shade on the Prowl. This is the green shade. So that is those two shades next to each other. Look at how smooth and pigmented they are. Like I said, they feel like pressed pigments, which is why I think they called this palette a pressed powder palette instead of an eyeshadow palette. Now moving on to the very last shade in the palette, we have the shade Eden. This is like a dark matte brown. You always have to have a good brown in the palettes, you know? So that is the very last row in the palette. The blue and green are s swapped. Um, ignore that. But you see all the shades. They are so stunning. They are very smooth and pigmented. This very first shade, like I said, I wish it was a little bit different than the guava shade. And it was also a little bit more chalky powdery, just like the very first shade in the palette. But overall, look at my arm. And you can judge for yourself. I think it is very, very stunning. So I just finished swatching this palette, and it looks brand new still. It is not powdery at all. The only one that was powdery was this very first shade. So I'm really impressed by the formula of this so far. I'm curious to see how they blend out though because it is a little bit more dry feeling. Not dry feeling, but just a little bit more stiff. And so I'm curious to see how these blend. 100% I'm going to use these two shades in my eye looks and then a few of the metallic shades. Don't really need to dip into the more neutral shades. That's boring. So... 100% I'm going in with Monsoon and packing that on my crease and probably blending it out with On The Prowl. As usual in my kind of like eye tutorials when testing out a new palette, it's not really about the eye look, um, it's more about the blend and kind of the shades. So I'm not really going to use like a bunch of shades or do something too crazy because that's not really the point of this video. So, so I have primed my eyes using a concealer. This is the e.l.f. Camo Concealer. I'm cleaning off my brush right now. And I'm going in to the shade Monsoon, which is the gorgeous blue color, this royal blue shade, and I'm going to pack that in my crease. Now because I'm doing my eyes after I finish my base and I have somewhere to go after this, I'm going to bake under my eyes just to kind of protect my base a little bit more because I don't know how the fallout or I don't know how this is going to go. Now I'm taking that Monsoon shade, this is it on the brush, it looks so crazy. I'm going to pack this all in my crease, kind of like in a rounded shape, starting at the outer corner. Let's see how these babies blend out. It's very pigmented. I haven't done a crazy eye look in forever. So this is going to be a little unusual for me. I used to do colorful crazy eye looks all the time. And then I got boring. So that is the shade Monsoon packed in my crease. I look like I have a black eye. Um, it is super, super pigmented, just like the swatches. It is not being patchy or weird at all, and I am actually really impressed. Like I said, I'm nervous on how this is going to blend out, but I'm going to give positive energy. I have hope. To blend this out, I'm using a little Morphe, just a little round blending brush, and I'm going to very carefully and very slowly blend this out just to kind of get rid of that harsh line. So I don't even know how this is going to look. Guys, this is blending out so nicely. It's like near perfect. It just blended out into this gorgeous lighter aqua type of shade and it is so stunning. I'm so excited. I'm like debating even putting on the shade on the prowl which is like the green shade and blending that out with it. I think I am still going to but this, this is the look. <laughs> I was corrected in my fear of how it's going to blend out. Very impressed. I'm very excited. <laughs> now taking that same brush, I just cleaned it off on my little dry brush cleaner. Um, I'm going to go into On The Prowl and blend this out very lightly. Um, let's do that. I'm nervous. <laughs> so I'm picking up the smallest amount of On The Prowl just because this can get very crazy very quickly. So. I don't want it to be like too green on the outside, I just want to use this to blend it out a little bit. 
And I'm actually going over, like right where it turned to that aqua shade, I'm going over that. I'm not blending outside the aqua shade because this shade is actually pretty dark. And I want it to blend well. I'm just working in sections. I'm literally going to lunch after this. I'm going to look crazy. So I don't know if you can tell on camera. I can zoom you guys in a little bit more. But that green shade is blended out on top of that blue. Um, they're very similar in like deepness. So I don't know if you can tell on camera. But I can't tell. And I like it. <laughs> So now I'm taking nothing on my brush, my brush is clean, and I'm going to slowly blend out that harsh line with the green and see how the green blends out. So far it's blending out really smoothly. I'm not having any patchiness or weird issues. So again, I am impressed. So that is the green shade all blended out. It was actually pretty easy and it took me like three minutes, so... I'm very, very impressed by these two shades so far. I really, really like this palette. This may be one of my favorite palettes by them um, so far. And now because that green kind of covered up the blue, I'm going to go back into Monsoon and kind of deepen up that crease area just a little bit more with the blue shade. All right, guys, this is how the eye look is looking so far. The crease is insane. It is so pigmented and dark, and I'm honestly obsessed with it. So now I'm going to go cut my crease really quick, and then we can apply some metallic shades and see how that goes. Be right back. All right, so I cut my crease. I did just a classic circle cut. I'm impressed with myself on how well I did it because I haven't done a cut crease in forever. Now for the metallic shades, I think I'm going to use three. I think I'm going in with Wild's Life. And then I'm going to go into Pom Pom, which is the neon green metallic. And then go into Juicy, which is like the dark teal metallic. So first I'm going into Wild Life. It's like a greenish gold shade. Cleaning off my brush and going into Pom Pom. This is more just to see the shades like on an actual eyelid. So that is the shade Pom Pom on my lid and I think it just gives that like bright neon pop and like kind of vibrance back because the crease was so dark and deep and I think it just gives that nice balance, you know? And now moving on to the very last metallic shade I'm going to use which is Juicy. It's like the metallic teal. This is just going to kind of help blend everything together. And I'm going to put this on just the outer portion. I'm honestly dreading doing this all over again in my other eye because <laughs> like it's fun doing it one time but then when you have to do it all over again it's like please why so that is the lid all finished what do we think this palette guys I am really liking it I think I'm getting closer and closer to saying that this is one of my favorite ColourPop palettes um, just the pigmentation and the colors and just just something different from them which is nice to have finally and I just am really liking it. And I think blues and green eyeshadows are so stunning to work with and play with. And doing like these type of looks is just so fun. So I'm, I'm a happy girl right now. So now for my lower lash line, I think I'm going to go back into Monsoon, which is the blue shade. And I'm going to just kind of do like a thin lower lash line moment. And then I'm just blending a little bit of On the Prowl to blend that out a little bit. I want to keep it kind of thin because if you get a little crazy, you can look like you have a black eye again. So this is the finished eye look. What do we think? I think it is so stunning. So pretty. Now, for the cream gel liners, I think I'm going to go into the metallic ones. Like I said, I don't really use these, but for today I will. And I'm going to use the gold one on the inner half of my lower lash line and then go in with the light green one and go on the outer half, like in my waterline. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell on camera, but that is the gold one. And that is the green one. You probably can't really tell, but in person I can tell, and I like it. So now after like an hour doing this one eye, I'm going to go do the other eye off camera. And I'm going to do it as fast as I can, and I will be right back to move on to the next products. Alright guys, I have finished my eye look. I did the other eye and threw on a pair of lashes. I look a little crazy to me. I haven't worn like super dramatic or colorful eyeshadow in forever. And so I'm a little off put <laughs> but I actually really really like the eye look I think it looks so stunning the colors are so pigmented and like rich and it just I really like it and so I'm living for this eye look it's just a little weird for me to be in this eye look does that make sense 
Before I move on, I just want to let you know that this palette retails for $18, which is pretty good. It's only 12 pans, but like, look at the shades, and there are a lot of pressed pigments, and so I think it is 100% worth it. I definitely recommend picking it up. I definitely think that this is one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes from ColourPop, which says a lot because I have a lot. <laughs> Anyways, moving on to the very last product in the collection, which are lip glosses. They launched three different shades. These are them here on the same packaging, of course. Based on the outside of the packaging, it reminds me a lot of the serum blushes where it goes kind of like from a baby pink to a bright neon kind of orangish red. And this one is very similar. So of course I'm going to swatch all of these on my lips and then I will pick my favorite and just continue wearing that. So first I'm going to line my lips with a nude lip liner and then I will show you the shades. So I lined my lips using the LA Girl Shockwave Nude Lip Liner in the shade Coquette, I think. It's just like a nude lip liner. It matches my lips the best out of all the lip liners I have. And now I'm going to swatch the lightest lip gloss first. This is the shade Peace Lily, and I think this is going to be very, very stunning. So this is the shade Peace Lily. I like kind of went heavy on it to kind of layer it on, but it is so pretty. It's not very pigmented, but it's very sparkly and shiny. It doesn't feel sticky at all, and I really like this. So again, Peace Lily. Now I'm going to wipe this off and reline my lips. Alright, now I lined my lips with the Laura Mercier lip liner in the shade Red Velvet. I thought that this one would kind of match Orchid the best. And now I'm going to apply this lovely gloss. I like these a lot because the pigment is definitely there, but it's not like too, too crazy. I'm not a big fan of lip glosses that are like really pigmented, almost like a lipstick. I just think that they're like too thick and sticky. So that is the shade Orchid. I think it looks really, really pretty. It's a little bit more like pinky corally than I thought it would be, but I don't know if that's because of the lip liner underneath. But overall, I really, really like it. Pretty bright and vibrant. Very pretty. And now moving on to the very last one. So I lined my lips using that same Laura Mercier lip liner just so I can tell the difference in the shades between Vanda and Orchid. Orchid? Yes. So let's apply this one on top. I can tell right off the bat that this one is a lot more pink. It matches the lip liner better than the previous shade. So this is the shade Vanda. I don't remember how it looks compared to Orchid. I think the only difference I can tell just by memory is that this one looks a little bit more pink. So that is all of the lip glosses. I really like all of them. They are all very smooth and buttery. They're not sticky at all, and I like the pigmentation in them. Obviously, my favorite one is the Peace Lily. I just really love this kind of mauve pink with the glitter in it. I think it's so pretty. But I really like the other ones as well. Excuse me. Each one of these lip glosses retails for $8, so they're a dollar more than the gel liners or the serum blushes. So all the products in the collection are pretty affordable, and I think all of them are worth it. Get the shades that you want, get the shades that you like, and I think that you are really going to like it. I'm just going to keep on this lip gloss. I'm going to try not to do the nude lip gloss, but all of them are super pretty, and I'm very summery and colorful, and I really like it, actually. So, yes! So that completes the entire Tropical Collection by ColourPop. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed sitting down and playing with this gorgeous makeup. Out of the entire collection, I think my favorite product is the eyeshadow palette, which is pretty rare for the ColourPop collections. A lot of times I like the kind of side products, but the eyeshadow palette I think is so worth it. I definitely think you should pick it up. Highly recommend. The shades are so stunning. They blend it out gorgeously. In my opinion, they blended a lot better than some of the other ColourPop palettes I've tried. So I highly recommend. I really love the blues and greens. And I, and I think that this is just such a good summer collection. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what you think of it and if you are going to pick up anything. And let me know other products that you want me to test out. Make sure to follow me on all my other social medias. It is Jessa Marie Astrid on Instagram and Jessa Astrid everywhere else like Twitter, Snapchat, and TikTok. You can also text me at my personal number. It is a special number that I can chat with you guys and send you updates on my content. It is 323-208-0782. I will put it here. Also, if you made it this far, comment down below the word toucan, just so I know, and that can be our little secret. Anyways, thank you guys again so much for watching. I love you so much, and I will see you very soon.